Hey everybody, it's Christina with Mint Strings, and today I want to talk to you about my new free mount pick guard. This is an option for every pick guard that I make, and that includes these really nice ones with the abalone, and this is a, a dyed blue mother of pearl on ebony. Uh, it's available on all my pick guards. Um, and let's look at the standard first. So this is a standard, again, beautiful with abalone dove. Um, this is a standard pick guard. You'll see them with 3M tape on them. And they're pretty easy to install. You find the position, mark your tip here and the tip here around your rosette. Um, I usually put a mark down here as well. You peel off the backing, you find your marks, placement here, placement here, and then drop it down. If you, uh, on, on any pick, pick guard, if you uh, line up here and here first around the sound hole, it's automatically going to drop in the correct place. So that's the best way to do that. So I'm going to put this one aside, and I want to show you my free mount. The free mount is a little bit different in that I have them backed with plastic, and I use a very thin plastic like this. And I use that for two reasons. One, it, it, the, the tape sticks to it better, but two, it allows you to remove this pick guard from your guitar and move it to another guitar. If you buy a really beautiful inlaid mother of pearl, whatever, pick guard, and you want to take it off, you know, if you're selling your guitar, this allows you to do that. The other reason why I decided to make these is because over the years, I've read many articles about how pick guards have damaged tops. And then I started thinking about what a pick guard does to the vibration of a top. Let's bring our other pick guard here. Think about this. When this pick guard is installed, this entire area is attached to the top, which means it's not allowing the top to vibrate completely. Take it off, free top. It's gonna it's gonna vibrate. And and I'll do a demonstration. We sell our armrests for the same reason. So I'll just strum, and then I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my I'll put my hand down right here. So hopefully you can hear that on the video. I'll do it one more time, put my, my hand down here. Did you hear how it got muted? Hand down, hand up. What happens is when you put anything on the guitar, especially your arm, hence the armrest that we sell, it mutes your top. So think about when you stick on a piece of plastic, um, I've seen some crazy ones. I've seen some that are thick with epoxy and they look really cool, but just think of what it's doing to your top. So that's the reason why I came up with this free mount. The free mount, again, plastic backing, really easy to install. You're gonna, you can mark your spots. Um, this one's gonna be a little bit easier. I already know where I'm gonna place this. You know what, let me grab a pen. I use erasable markers. They uh, obviously come right off the top. So this is my placement. And what I'm gonna do is mark the tip here and the bottom here. And it makes for a much easier install. to make one mark over here. So that way you see one, two, three. So really simple on this, you're gonna take the red backing off and I'm gonna to try to do this as quickly as possible without wasting too much time. Uh, as a side note, the guitar I'm working on is an ARC guitar, and if you don't have one, if you can find one, you should get one. These are awesome guitars. They're really inexpensive. They are solid top, and man, they sound really good. Uh, this particular one has a Sapili back and sides, and um, I think... The, the fretboard must be dyed because it's it's black, but it's got it's got mother of pearl inlay. Um, it's got the dot inlay and the pins, but I think the pins might be plastic. Um, I'll have to double check that again. But great guitar. See if you can find yourself one. Sometimes you can find them on Amazon. Okay, so back to our pick guard. So there's the pick guard. The tape is clear. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, yeah, you can. So the tape is clear. Um, I've tried a couple different ways of installing this. You really don't even need this much tape. Um, and I actually started doing completely around the sound hole, and I'll, I'll explain that in a second. But to install this, it's super easy. Find your points. So point here, 
point on the bottom. Let's see, where's my, there we go. And once it's in place, you just drop it. That's all you have to do. Let's see. So it looks like I could probably shift this down a little bit. I'm just gonna push this down a little bit. A little bit too hard. So I, I moved my mark, I wiped my mark away. So anyhow, we're gonna drop it right there. Looks good. See how that, uh, just rub that off. I love uh, these for marking things and guitars, the erasable markers. Um, once it's in place, press gently. That's it. Now, you can see I'm pushing, I'm actually pushing pretty hard. It's not coming off. It's not gonna come off. So, when I was talking about the sound hole, here, I was putting tape, and I'll move this down here. I was putting tape all the way down here. And I, I'm, I'm really kind of back and forth about it. It's not necessary. It does make it harder to take off. Um, looking at this the way it is right now, I don't know. I, I, mean, I, I do like it with it in there because it kind of fills that gap in there. But the only person who sees that is the player. Nobody else sees that. Nobody else sees from the bottom. And I'll put this over. Nobody else sees that. You can see a very, very mild gap there. Um, but that's the idea of the free mount system. It floats on the top. So the only thing that's touching the guitar's top right now are those couple pieces of tape that are uh, that's holding the, the pick guard to the top. And again, it doesn't make any difference. Hand on, hand off. It's sitting there, it doesn't affect the vibration at all. It's, I don't know why anybody didn't do this years ago. So let's say you're selling your guitar and you love the pick guard and you want to take it off. It's really, really simple. And I've done this a few times over the past. I've been working on this for about a year, playing with different tapes. And picks are the, toothpicks are the easiest way to remove these. Um, and there doesn't seem to be any effect on the tape in terms of, you know, it getting weird and, and, and coming out, having a problem getting it off the top. So it's really, really simple to get this off. Um, you kind of have to feel around. If you don't remember where, where, where the tape is on here, you're just gonna have to feel around. The nice thing about a toothpick is it's not gonna harm your top. And you're gonna be going in, if the pick guard is here, you're gonna be going upward into the pick guard because it's, again, there's plastic on the back. So you can do a couple things. Let me grab a business card. You can find the tape in there using a, a business card or a credit card for that matter. You can slide it under here and you just kind of feel like I, I feel a piece there. I feel a piece down there. Piece that. So this one is from here to here. Piece from here to here. And there's a piece here. So now I know where it is. Um, actually, while I'm here, let me try this with a credit card. Let's see what I have have a gift card. Let's try to remove this with a gift card. We'll try something new. Typically I would take this uh, pick and start pushing the tape out and pull the tape out, but let's try a gift card. Yeah, it fits under there. So I'm gonna just sweep this under here and push. Yeah, comes off perfect. This is even better than a pick. Okay, so one piece of tape is off. Find a, a, an area that's open like this. Put it in and push. Nice. Put it in and push. Nice. And you don't want to pull it up because this is wood. You don't want to damage the wood. And one of the reasons, again, why I backed it with plastic. Push this in. This one's a little bit more difficult, maybe because of the angle. No, oh, came off. So once you get most of the tape up, you're going to twist it. I would say not to twist in the in the way of the of the tip here because this is a more fragile area. But but you can do either way. You can push this way or this way. So I'm, I'll push it this way. Just twist, 
and pull. Now, this tape is new. I just installed it, so it came off and stayed on the pick guard, as you can see. Uh, all you'd have to do is either flatten the pieces out. That piece is kind of crumpled up. Um, this piece I could probably trim and use again, but I'd take it off. And, and all you do to take it off is you, it's like 3M wall, the wall hanging tape. Pull sideways. Same thing with the armrest when you take off an armrest. Just pull sideways. Tape comes right off. Super, super easy. There we go. Um, so, again, you know, if you want to, you know, switch guitars, it's not a big deal. You can buy extra tape. Um, I'll probably offer extra tape with my pick guards. I haven't yet, but I probably should do that. Um, so, there we go. I'm so much happier with the credit card slash gift card over the, over the toothpick. That worked out great. So there you go, that's my new Fremont system. That's how it works. A lot of um, uh, great reasons to buy one with the Fremont. The vibration of the top, the ease of removement, the ease of installation. If you have any questions, please feel free uh, to message me. I'm on Facebook. You can uh, um, use Messenger. Uh, also, sales at minstrings.com. You can find me on Etsy, Reverb, and of course, www.mintstrings.com. Okay, hopefully you guys now understand how this works, and let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.